I'm joined now by Karen Finney. She's a political commentator for MSNBC and a Democrat strategist who worked for the Democratic National Committee and for Hillary Clinton. Now, I guess with that, those credentials, you're going to say <laughs> he's played a blinder, this man, Obama. <laughs> it's been a brilliant ruse right from the beginning, and now look where we are. Is that quite how you see it? I would say it is working out better than you might have thought from, at the beginning. And I, I say that to say, in the very beginning when you had Secretary Kerry come out very forcefully and then the president making the decision to go to Congress, whereas I think most of us believe that's the right thing, it definitely looked a little messy from a foreign policy <laughs> standpoint. That being said, I think as it plays itself out, we're seeing that it is working itself out because we've clearly been proceeding on two tracks, both the but, but diplomatic... Do you, do you think the Russian response, this, this take the chemical weapons into a safe haven, et cetera, et cetera, right. is, is an accidental consequence or a deliberate? Well, the president has said that they started having a conversation during the G20. Uh, so I, I would not be surprised, and you know how these things work with diplomacy. There are all sorts of back channels always being worked to try to see if something like a strike could have been averted. And I think once the, it became very clear that President Obama was very serious about proceeding with the strike. And remember, even up to this morning, the question was, would he proceed with or without the approval of Congress? I think that did help put the pressure on those diplomatic efforts. But now we have Putin calling in from Moscow saying, hang on a minute, yeah. I want you to take the threat of force off the table. Correct. Perhaps it's not really on the table because these people haven't actually <laughs> voted yet, have they? Although I suppose you could say it's sort of the, it's there's the threat of the threat perhaps, and I think the question is, um, what, will the president decide that what he needs to do is to both have the authorization to continue on the diplomatic path and the authorization to take force if needed? I don't think that we're at a position, just given our relationship uh, with Mr. Putin, I don't think we're at the position where I would just say, you know, okay, sure, whatever you want, Vladimir, will you know, call me back when you have it worked out. It, I, we're not quite there, uh, and there are a lot of questions questions, frankly, as to how this would proceed. A lot of questions as to the kinds of weapons. You know, hmm. a day ago... Can it, can it be done? But, I mean, but a day ago, what? Assad did, said he didn't have weapons, and then today he's willing to give up those weapons. So that tells you but something. You know, for a world leader, he was amazingly candid, talking about the tensions in his own home, and a clear implication that Michelle herself is rather opposed. Well, I think the president understands what a... This has been a very uh, difficult time for this country. In part, it is about Iraq and sort of the ghost of Iraq. But we're a war-weary nation. There are a lot of domestic priorities that people are very focused on. And I think there's been a lot of tension. I mean, frankly, even in the Democratic Party, the Republican Party, you've seen, I mean, you've seen, you know, libertarians and, you know, liberals, you know, uh, gathering up together. People are very divided on this. But isn't it extraordinary that 10 days ago, Putin and Obama were refusing to have a bilateral? Then they obviously had this marginal experience talking about this. Right. And now well, they're actually vesting trust in each other. They, they are, although, you know, having worked in politics and worked in the Clinton administration, I feel like it's, it's oftentimes what's happening behind the scenes is a little different than what's being, you know, people have to take care of their politics publicly in front of the camera so they seem, you know, tough and, and like they're being firm. Karen Finney, thank you very much indeed for joining Good to us.